Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. So a fair few top five lists ago, we began an exploration into the animal kingdom of the One Piece world by examining some of the best dogs in the series. This time, I believe it's only fair to take a closer look at the ultimate rival of the dog, the Kate, or a cat if you're not a derp like me. Just as with their canine counterparts, we've encountered a surprising amount of cats in the series. Well, at, at least five. And I suppose it's about time they had their moment in the spotlight. The criteria for this list is pretty simple. You have have to be a cat. Yep, that's about it. Oh, but no catfish. Like all the citizens of the headband catfish village from Hachan's cover story, or the sea kitten from Jinbei's cover story. They are fish, not cats. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top five cats in One Piece. Number five. Fighting Lion. I mean, just instantly with a name like that, how could this feline not make it onto the list? Rather surprisingly though, Fighting Lion has an actual name, which is Argyo, but that is so much less impressive that we're going to just ignore it. In any case, Fighting Lion is allegedly a famous gladiator. Yes, you heard that right. He is a gladiator at the Corridor Coliseum. In fact, Fighting Lion was in the running to acquire the Mera Mera no Mi during the Dressrosa arc. This combat kitty was placed in block D with other memorable characters such as Mummy. Rolling Logan, and who could forget, Meadows. Yeah, look, Block D wasn't so great, but it did happen to feature Orlumbus, which was incredibly bad news for Fighting Lion, because Orlumbus was able to overcome the feisty feline with relative ease. But who cares, because how many other cats can claim that they fought a battle royale for a devil fruit? None, that's how many. So Fighting Lion, well done. We acknowledge you, you magnificent son of a bitch. Or I guess not actually, since you're a cat and not a dog. You know what, we're moving on now. Number four, Richie. Richie is the sassy, conniving lion owned by Moji, and he is therefore an official member of the Buggy and Alveda Alliance. Despite being classified as a type C creature, denoted as being big and savage, Richie mainly acts like a kitten, having an awful lot of stupid and goofy moments. But don't let that fool you, because this kitty cat is actually quite smart. Possibly the smartest cat thus far on the list, having adopted a lot of human behavior. And not only that, but Richie is a cat with ambition, and has been shown to dream of becoming the captain of his own pirate crew. This his ambition is so great that he once defeated both Kabashi and Moji while he was asleep, and as a result, he was declared the official captain of the Buggy Pirates for a brief period of time. Sadly, he and the rest of his crew were quickly captured by cannibals and had to be saved by both Buggy and Alveda. And so, Richie retreated back into his comfortable life thinking only about food, which is working out pretty damn well for him. So he certainly is one successful cat and well deserving of a bit of recognition. Number three, Pekom. All right, it's time to get serious by featuring the third lion on this list, Pecoms, a mink from the living island of Zo. Pecoms is the most accomplished of every kitty cat thus far, having become strong enough to secure a place as a high-ranking member of the Big Mom Pirates, and garnering a bounty of 330 million berries along the way. Plus, he dresses in a super swish pink suit and has a pair of super cool sunglasses to cover his adorable and not at all intimidating beady eyes. In contrast to his feline origins, Pecoms is also a devil fruit eater of a Zoan type no less. Having eaten the Kame Kame no Mi, Pekoms has access to a wide array of abilities relating to the world of turtles. What a weird mix of animals. But Pekoms does put his catosity on full display in regards to his personality as he is often seen being particularly angry or grumpy. But he also embodies the particular lion-esque trait of loyalty, which is aptly demonstrated in spoilerific events of Whole Cake Island, which I won't go into for the sake of all of you anime-only watchers, but for the manga readers, you know what I'm talking about. Number two. Pedro! All right, finally, a cat that is not a lion on this list. Pedro is a jaguar mink who is captain of the former Nox Pirates and managed to accumulate a bounty of 382 million berries. Just as with Pecoms, Pedro has a penchant for extreme loyalty, although this jaguar tends to indulge in, shall we say, much more violent tendencies, favoring conflict as a solution to most problems. And to be fair, more often than not, Pedro seems to get the job done pretty damn well. But in regards to his feline nature, Pedro greatly favors being in high places, such as trees, which has led him to being given the epithet of Tree Top Pedro. This harks back to the origin of cats as hunters, often living in rainforests and climbing up trees to lie in wait for prey or even escape predators on their own. But the thing that really cements Pedro's spot at number two best cat is even more spoilerific than Pecoms. So we're going to leave it at that, really. But if you're an anime-only watcher, just take my word for it. Pedro has more than earned the respect he's getting here, although there is certainly one being out there that outcats him. Number one, Neko Mamushi. 
So if you've seen the top five best dogs list, this number one spot probably won't surprise you at all. But how could it not go to this boss Neko? As one of the two leaders of the Mink tribe, Neko Mamushi is the ruler of the night and has domain over Zoe from the hours of 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. A classic cat primetime activity zone. Nekomamushi is the best example of a cat on this list who displays what we would perceive to be stereotypical feline behavior, including licking his paws, eating catnip, and playing with balls. Also, his favorite food is lasagna, a little uh, Garfield reference by Oda there. However, Nekomamushi is not to be underestimated as a result of these tendencies because he is actually one of the more powerful characters we've met in the series thus far. Along with his counterpart Inu Arashi, Nekomamushi tag teamed in a vicious battle against Jack, one of the top commanders of the Emperor Kaido. This battle lasted for five days and nights with Nekomamushi obviously taking the night shift, and although they did not come out victorious against Jack, this display of strength is pretty absurd and cements Nekomamushi's position as one of the dual leaders of Zo, as well as earns him the acclaim of number one cat in the series. And that pretty much does it for the top five cats in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. Finally, please do comment with your own favorite cats in One Piece. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.